हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट अमृता यूनिवर्सिटी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो अबाउट प्रोग्रेस स्टेप हाउ टू यू हैव टू रजिस्टर फॉर सी सैप काउंसलिंग राउंड एंड दिस इज डिटेल अबाउट द स्केड्यूल एंड एवरीथिंग विच इज देयर सो इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज यू नो कंपलसरी टू रजिस्टर फॉर सी सैप वट इज विच इज सेंट्रलाइज सीट अलॉटमेंट प्रोसेस टू गेट अ सीट अलोकेशन राइट सो इट इज नॉट अट यू नो ऑप्शनल एक्टिविटी इट इज अ कंपलसरी एक्टिविटी टू गेट द सीट अलोकेटेड and the csap registration link will be available along with your a triple e rank list which you would have got you can click from there or you can go into a triple e main portal which where i have shown the link in the thumbnail 30th may is 2025 is the last day to register for trial allotment so don't don't miss it Sub and uh, submit your best j mains 2025 scorecard and upload the scorecard if you are applying through j mains process then the best of the two scorecard you should upload and registration then after this date will be considered only for the first allotment not for trial allotment. so when is the trial allotment so trial allotment will be done on the 2nd of june 2025 and based on this mock allotment you will come to know what is the type of seat you can get at what slab of fees now 3rd june 2025 will be the editing window closes for the academic preferences after trial allotment right so then you will you have the option to edit your academic preferences based on the trial allotment you can add more slabs you can add more branches you can add more campus but that has to be done by 3rd june 2025 by 5th of june 2025 your first allotment results will be out and csap registration opens for second allotment so this is only for students who want to go for new registration they can start second all uh, allotment as their as their starting phase but first allotment results are out and those students who get the seat are eligible to pay the fees and confirm the seat so i'll talk about more process now so for the students who got the seat in the first round of seat allotment they last day to pay the fees is uh, you know 13th june 2025 and you have to pay 1 lakh rupees as a tuition fee for the first round allotment candidates so that your seats are confirmed and otherwise your seat will be lost and the uh, you know 15th june 2025 is the last date to register for the second round of allotment so all the new new uh, registrations which has happened they can do up to 15th of june 2025 and they will be eligible for allotment in the second round now 17th june is the date when the second round results or allotment results will be published and uh, then students uh, can basically uh, has options to pay the fees so that is the sec uh, second allotment date and mop up registrations for the upgrade request non allotted request and the new registrations will again start right so after second round there will be directly the mop up round so there is no third round so so, so mop up round depends if there is the seats left if seats are full there will be no mop up round but if the seats are left there will be mop up round and definitely it will be there for the core branches right so since uh, second round allotment was there so for the second round, uh, round allotment students they will have to pay the fees by 24th june and also for the first round allotment student first round allotment students who paid only 1 lakh rupees during the first round now they have to pay the remaining amount for the second round allotted student they have to pay the full amount on 20 before 24th june to confirm their seat so this by this time all the students would have paid all the fees whether they would have got on first round or they would have got on the second round of seat allotment after that the last date for registration for the mop up round it will be like uh, 26th june so you have first round you have second round you have mop up round so mop up round 26th june 2025 whosoever is uh, eligible please apply and uh, registration closes at that point of time now 28th june 2025 will be basically when the results for the mop up round will be uh, published right and all those students who get the seat allotted in the mop up round then will be expected to pay the fees right so only those student who paid the full pay fees will be considered for the mop up round so and then 30th june 2025 is the final date to pay full fees for the mop up round candidate so they have to give all the complete fees and that, that way their seat will be then finalized and confirmed So basically, if you talk about the steps for CSAP register, you have to enter marks, submit your class 12 subject marks on the portal, upload mark sheet, upload a copy of your mark sheet, and set academic preferences. Choose the program and campus 
you want to join in the order of priority first like you have to have your register email id and the mobile number which we used during the application form same combination will be used to log in into the amrita csap portal all communication related with counseling and everything will be sent at both the places your registered email id and mobile number and otp validation is a mandatory step so it is important that you maintain a correct login password and for all the times an important note is that multiple registrations are not allowed and no no refund will be given for duplicate registrations so avoid that and have one registration which is correct now i will first start with the documents which are and steps which are required for csap registration process so the first thing which is required is mandatory actions is hsc marks card that is your 12th grade marks card you have to upload all the marks statements right which is received by different board which is cbse icse or any of the state boards you have to upload your 12th grade marks card so as i mentioned that state board candidates right which are coming from say kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh telangana right use hall ticket number to retrieve marks card so you can use your hall ticket number to get your marks card uh, if you have not got already cbsc students must retrieve marks via digi locker so link is provided in the document but you if you know you can also install the digi locker um, basically app on your thing and then you can get your cbsc uh, marks card available for you and for all other boards right which are not mentioned here upload 12th marks certificate manually so these are the different option how you can upload your 12th class mark sheet in the csap portal now j mains application students who are coming from j mains uh, admission process but not from csap admission process they also need to enter j mains 2025 percentile highest of the two sessions only upload once which is the highest marks of two session and upload the score card in the given section academic preference right you have to choose a combination of campus plus btech branch which you want to take for example if you are looking for hyderabad campus and within that campus if you are looking for artificial intelligence and data sciences branch with medical engineering so you have to choose that type of campus plus btech combination next is the important note is that admission can be cancelled at any stage if you are providing any wrong information error or discrepancies and not meeting the condition and you have to ensure that the plus 2 state and social categories right it should be correctly mentioned your home state your where you studied class 10 plus 2 which is standard 12 that be correct social category can be general sc st obc others it should be correctly uploaded in the csap portal now guidelines specifically for sc st candidate that they must upload a community certificate which is there in english so caste certificate you are putting there it should not be in any other language it should be in the english and in case and if in case it is in some other language which is not english then you must first translate it and then notarized in english and then only you can upload it so it's very important for scs student that it should be in english and if it's not available you translate it notarize it and upload it now the next step is about the registration process right so you see the registration fees is 5000 rupees non refundable if admission is offered in any round so if you get any seat allotted in any round of you know uh, csap counseling your fees is non refundable fee is refundable only if the candidate does not get admission in any round including the mop up round so if you don't get any seat in any campus your 5000 will be refunded so that is a good news now next important point is that no refund if the candidate does not act on the offered seat that means if you are offered any seat in a particular round and you do not do anything you do not pay the fees you do not reject the seat etc and you do not do anything it will be not refunded that money is gone registration does not guarantee a seat or admission that is obvious that you cannot say that i have registered so i should get some seat now also very important thing about the eligibility and quotas right so seats are reserved for candidate who studied their hsc which is class 12 in the same state for at least 2 years right so depending on the campus right if you have studied in that particular state where the college is located seats are reserved for at and you should have studied at least 2 years 11th and 12th in that state and those states are andhra pradesh for ap campus tamil nadu for chennai campus Coimbatore campus and the other campuses in the state 
Kerala for Amrit Amritapuri campus, Karnataka for Bangalore campus, and Delhi NCR for the Delhi NCR campus. So you should be basically studied at least two years to be called as home state student in that particular campus. Otherwise, you will be considered as other state candidate for that particular campus. So you should remember that. Now, academic preference submission, right? must submit at least one academic so one is minimum academic preference you should put and you can choose up to 51 combinations right that, that is the maximum limit a student can put up to 50 combinations if seven campuses are there 18 branches are available within that you can put 51 combinations that is the maximum limit